Hey, what is going on guys? It's me, Andrew here. Welcome to this video. Well, today I'm going to be taking you guys through a little rundown of what hot swap technology is and how to enable it in your computer. Most modern motherboards, uh, modern computer builds, if you built it in the last four or five years, uh, should have hot swap technology and hot swap features available in it. Hot swap allows you to pretty much swap out, of course, so hot swap, swap out um, your components in your computer while it's on. Now, in higher computers like servers and uh, other supercomputers, you can actually swap out CPUs and memory modules while the computer is still on. That's what's called hot swap, right? So, um, but in most modern consumer PCs, whether you, it's a white box PC you built it yourself or it's a pre-built PC, uh, it doesn't really matter. You should still have the hot swap enable. Uh, feature enabled on your motherboard or you can enable on your motherboard if it's not enabled already. It's a combination of three things, uh, a, f a free five and a quarter inch drive bay in your computer and um, a mobile rack and a hard drive. You can actually add essentially more three and a quarter inch, two and a quarter inch base into your computer by adapting the five and a quarter inch into a three and a quarter and a two and a half inch drive bay. Now this right here, what I have in my hand is called a mobile rack. Uh, Mobile racks are not that expensive. That's actually, this is actually a 30 bucks I got from my school on campus, uh, Center College. Um, they sell these because uh, the idea is that uh, you can have your work on your hard drive um, and transfer your hard drive from the computer to computer depending on what classroom you're in. So we usually we install Linux and uh, Windows Server, doesn't matter which version of Windows Server, but we install Windows Server and Linux on our hard drive so we can move it from computer to computer. So the first thing you want to do is you want to just um, plug this into the computer. Uh, you want to you take this out, right? You can buy these on uh, Amazon or your school campus if you go to a technological design school or a tech school. They usually have more racks. I'm not sure if your school will have it, but the best way to find it is Amazon and uh, eBay. Um, this is just a little, it's like a little bay. It has a brushless fan in there, 12 volts, which is 2.8 watts. It has a fan. In the back, you can see this fan. Um, but yeah, it has a fan on it. And um, yeah, so at the back is regular connectors. Uh, you can see that it has a modest connector, a uh, serial power connector, and a serial data cable connector. Um, yeah, so you, you hook this up to your computer and you secure it with, the, with either the tools kit that came with the computer with using these two gold, to these gold um, screw holes, and or, the, or you screw it down with, with your screwdriver and the screw. And uh, yeah, you have that into the computer, and then you can change hard drives on the fly while your computer is still on. So I'm gonna demonstrate some on my computer and uh, we'll see you on the PC. Okay, so we're gonna wanna boot into the BIOS and to do that, you want to go ahead and hit the delete key or whatever key it says at the bottom of your screen to hit the BIOS. So the BIOS setup is delete or dial for my key. So I'm gonna go hit that and we're gonna get the BIOS. Mine is a gigabyte motherboard. Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is we're gonna go into peripherals, right? And then you wanna go into, um, SB South Bridge Static Configuration, that's what SB stands for, I'm assuming. Uh, you want to go into that, click on that, and then you want to go ahead, you're going to see the hot plug on SATA 0, 0 port is 0, is disabled. You want to go ahead and enable all of them, so click on enter, enable, and enter, enable. That's it. And you want to make sure that all the power, uh, set up power to port all the ports from 0 to 5, or whatever, how many ports you have in your computer. Um, more expensive motherboards have more set up ports, so Mine is a mid-range motherboard. I got it for around, around I think, ninety or ninety-five dollars, including taxes on uh, Amazon last year. Mine is a GD. Mine is a nine seventy A, nine seventy chipset, uh, DS three P. So yeah, you want to go ahead and uh, do that, and then save and exit. That's it. And then you can see right here on my PC, I have the 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 drive mobile rack already installed. So you can see that it's already installed right there. And the whole point of doing that. Is to is to get is to get the the port the port ready. So you plug it in, like I said, to here. You plug it in into your five and a quarter inch drive bay. I have two of them, but for some reason I lost the actual rack that goes into the computer. So yeah, you, I lost one of these these cages. So I have two of them, but I can't use them. I have to get another one from this camp campus store or order one online and use a different one. So yeah, all you have to do is just plug it in. This is the power cable, power port. You, both of them comes with power, a power port right here. So you can press it to power off the drive, the dr mobile rack. So you power it on or whatever, 
there's a, um, there's a hard drive uh, indication to tell you that it's actually reading and writing, and there's a power power button. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just how you install it. You have these, you have this right here, and then this. It comes in three parts. This, this, this. Um, the cover of the of the hot swap uh, drive drive bay and the mobile rack itself. So you, like I said, you put the mobile rack in there. It's already installed. I'm not gonna walk you guys through that. You connect you connect the cables to the appropriate power um, and a SATA cable, depending on which power and SATA cable you have. And then you want to go ahead and place the the hard drive the way the whole the way the cutout is. You want to place the connectors towards that. And then cover it up. Cover it up. Oh boy. Cover it up. Yeah, you wanna cover it up. And then insert it into into your hard drive bay. And then lock it to secure it. I'm gonna show you guys that's actually working. So we're gonna actually uh, power out the computer. So we can find the power button right there. I'm gonna power the computer. And you guys can see this power to it. So I can turn the power off or turn the power back on. You guys can see that the hard drive it's being red. So let's boot it up and let's go back on the computer screen. And yeah, so it's being red. And let's go to F12, I think. I have to think. I'm already in Windows. So we're booting to Windows. So it doesn't take that long. I have an SSD uh, as a boot drive, so it's probably going to take like two seconds. Yeah, like I said. And we're at the home, we're at the logon screen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. Right, I'm going to enter my password to my. Account, you log in and you'll say, and you go ahead and focus it. You log in, and let's go ahead. The drive that I entered is called Backup Drive, and it should be right here. That's where I have all my YouTube videos. So, Backup Drive is there. Let's go ahead and go into this focus. Let's zoom in. You can see that I have my backup. Drive. I could be using a, a screen capture software, but that's just way too complicated. Sorry about that. Let's focus. You can see that I have my backup drive right here and it has all my youtube videos and assets and all the files that i use on there anyways so yeah i'm going to demonstrate that this is actually can be hot swap so you guys can see that on the screen i'm gonna i'm gonna change out i'm gonna go ahead and change out the drive by unsecuring it right pull out the drive bay right and you guys can see that it's, it disappeared off the screen and we can go ahead and test it i'll show you guys that it's actually not on the screen so i'm going to I guess see that if I go to the um, this PC, you guys can see that there is no this PC that there is no backup drive there. There is no backup drive there. You guys can see that I'm not lying that there's no backup drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this drive. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out this drive. This drive I have in my hand right here. I'm gonna have myself swap out this Western Digital drive. I'm gonna swap with the Western Digital drive, and I'm gonna put in an older style Western Digital hard drive into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm doing that right now. You can see that it's a black, it's a different hard drive, right? And I'm gonna insert it into the computer, and it should read it. Now this hard drive I'm installing has a installation of Windows uh, Server 2012 on it. I needed to have this for my class during the last semester, so you guys can see that I do have. My Windows Server, and I inserted it. It's reading, and in a couple seconds, you can hear the sound for the Windows uh, new disk installations. And yeah, you guys see that I do have my installation of Windows. I'm going to go focus. You guys can see that I do have an installation of Windows on it. It's called Local Disk F. I'm going to go to my my disk PC. You guys can see that it's Local Disk F right here. And yeah, you can unplug it, you can um, um, take it out, and put it on the drive, and, and you, whatever drive you want, as many drives as you want, and you guys can do that. You can also use two, two and a half inch drives, but I recommend you three and a half inch drives for this. If you want to use a two and a half inch drive, I recommend you actually get an actual drive bay that supports two and a half inch drive. But you can also Alright guys, so now that you know, know how to set up hot plug or hot swap technology on your motherboard, and use a mobile rack to get the full benefits of it, um, yeah, I'll just leave you with this tip. Uh, just make sure that your hot plug is always enabled. If you ever have to reset your motherboard um, to its default profile that it came with, uh, you might as well have to go back into the motherboard again and re-enable hot swap because it actually disables it by default. So yeah, once you do that and you have your hard drive and your mobile rack and all the jazz ready, just 
enjoy swapping out drives and doing hot plug. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like it, comment if you need any help. I will be in the comment section. And subscribe for more videos. And uh, also help my channel grow when you like this video and share with your friends. So be sure to do that. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if this helped you, let me know. You can say thanks. And I'll see you guys next time.